हलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू अवर् यूट्यूब चानल लाजि मेडिको इफ यू न्यू टू अवर् चानल कईली कन्सिडर सब्सक्रैबिंग डोंट फर्गेट टू प्रेस द बेल बटन एंड द थम्स बटन इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो टूडे इज इंट्रेस्टिंग टापिक इज आसिफिकेशन आफ द कॉर्पल बोन सो वाट आर दिस कॉर्पल बोन दीस् आर द बोन विच आर प्रेजेंट अट द प्रॉक्सीमल पार्ट आफ द पाम अट द जंक्षन बिटवीन फोर आम एंड द पाम आफ द हैंड दट इज टू बी मोर स्पेसिफिक इन द विस्ट रीजन so these carpal bones are eight in number they are arranged in two rows four each the proximal row four bones will be there and distal row another four so they are named from lateral to medial in the proximal row sltp she looks too pretty in the distal row ttch try to catch her that is a mnemonic to remember but the actual name of these carpal bones are scaphoid lunate triquetral PC form, trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, and hamate. So today's topic is ossification of these carpal bones. So when does this carpal bone ossify in our body? As we can see in this diagram, the largest carpal bone is these two, capitate and hamate. So this capitate and hamate ossifies from the intrauterine life, that is two months and three months respectively. Capitate and hamate ossifies from intrauterine life two months and three months respectively so if you take a radiograph of a newborn you will see two white color patches at the wrist area they are depicting these two bones capitate and hamate so the remaining is very very easy once you understand or you could try seeing some numbers within this alphabets we'll see what you will try to guess so what number can you see in this alphabet scaphoid what number try guessing so it is 5 5 years okay so it resembles fine now huh? what number can you see in this lunate it is 4 4 years okay so this is 4 years lunate is 4 years scaphoid is 5 years triquetral tri triquetral tri means what so tri means 3 na no? so 3 years very simple see so scaphoid is 5 years lunate is 4 years triquetral is 3 years if you add these numbers you will get one number what is that 3 plus 4 plus 5 that is pc form what is that number 3 plus 4 plus 5 is 12 so pc form ossifies at the time of puberty very simple pc form pc form p i s i f o r m ossifies at the time of puberty so that also starts p only so puberty is at the age of 12 years that is also another way of remembering it next up there are other two bones which are the trapezium and trapezoid so trapezium and trapezoid also ossifies at this age so how to remember this age 5 years of age how to remember this if you add these two numbers those two numbers are 3 months and 2 months if you add 3 plus 2 the answer is 5 If you add two plus three, again the answer is five only. So like that, trapezium and trapezoid also ossifies at the age of five years. The forensic importance of this is, if you take a radiograph of a newborn, the capitate and hamate would have been started ossification in the intrauterine life. So obviously it will be visible. So at the age of first birthday also, only those two bones will be visible. Second, those two bones only. At third birthday. One additional bone will come, which is that you can see the ear central. So, if you are told triquetral in your mind, then it's the correct answer. At fourth birthday, one more bone will come, that is lunate. So, at fourth birthday, there will be four bones in the wrist area. At third birthday, third bone, three bones. At fifth birthday, don't tell five bones because at fifth birthday you can see scaphoid, trapezium, trapezoid, all three will come. So, already four was there. Fourth birthday, at fifth birthday, another three will come. So there will be seven, seven carpal bones. So these seven carpal bones from fifth birthday till eleventh birthday it will be there. So at the time of puberty, nature will give one gift, and that is PC form. So at the time of puberty onwards, we have all the eight carpal bones in our wrist area, including the PC form. Okay. So this is about the ossification of the. carpal bones at a particular age 
I hope you like this video. Kindly press the thumbs up button if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends too. Thank you once again for watching and learning from Logic Medical.